Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pokemon X and Y. So for this let's play, I will be doing Pokemon X, as you can see. Oh man, I have been looking forward to this for a long time. And it has been an epic, epic struggle to record this. Oh my gosh, is it ever difficult. But it was so worth it. Well, it will be worth it. I haven't even really played the game yet, but I know it will be worth it from what I've seen. And I got to play a tiny bit at PAX Prime. I'm so looking forward to this. This is the game that I grew up with. The reason why I bought a Pokemon Color way back in the day. And I'm this, oh, from what I've seen from footage and like trailers and reviews and whatnot, it just looks absolutely breathtaking. And I cannot wait to begin this journey. And I hope you guys enjoy the journey along with me. So let's begin. And we're going to start off why, uh, I guess uh, I'll be a boy. That seems about right. And I will be the blonde fella. All right. All right. I will let you know my name. Let's go with. A little bit of caps and under... Oops, oh no. Alright. There we go. So... Uh... Oh, nope. There we go. David. So we've selected our name. We're pretty much halfway through, uh... <laughs> through the game now. We're pretty good. David, did I get that right? Yes. Yes, fist bump. Trey Bien, what a fantastic name. David, your adventure begins now. Go and meet many Pokemon and people and fill your life. Oh my god, they they go with the text really fast in this game. I remember back in the older generations, you had to press A or B or whatever to get actually past it. Now it's like, you better read fast, son. Oh wow. The, uh, the actual gameplay footage in this, the visuals is absolutely amazing compared to the originals. Oh man, I can remember red and blue and just like... You didn't even have a color screen back then. It was crazy. It was like yellow and brown undertones. So on the bottom we got a friends and acquaintances and passerby. This is this looks really cool. I'm liking this. I am digging this. Let's go downstairs. I wonder if my mom will be down there. Yes, she is. She's in the kitchen. She's cooking up a storm. I want some eggs, mom. You sure you slept well? All rested up from the move? David, you look like you just rolled out of bed. Go have a look at yourself in the mirror and change out of your pajamas. All right, let's go get out of the pajamas. Oh, go have a look at yourself in the mirror. Oh, fine, I'll go back to my room, Mom. All right, here we go. Here's the mirror. David looked in the mirror. So I think you'll probably be able to change your appearance right here, maybe? Oh, ooh, nope, just putting on some sly-ass clothes. Look at that. You got some sunglasses and everything. Looks good. Looking good right now. Hey, what's up, Mom? It's about time to get going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? That sounds like a swell idea. We got a little Pokemon right there. Let's see. Ooh. Damn, the graphics in this are crazy. Who are these ladies? Alright. Welcome to Vanil Van Nivel Town. My name's Serena, I'm your neighbor, and I'm Shauna. Great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. The esteemed professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I was told he has a request for five kids, including us, but I'm just a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanivel, after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon! Come on, hurry, let's go! Woo! Yeah! Alright, so it looks like we gotta do a little bit of exploration first. Hello? I really want a Pokemon, then I could go wherever I want. Yes, you could. Alright, so we gotta go check out the neighbors. See what's up. Say hello. Hello? Oh, you must be the new young man from the next door. Welcome to Vanivel Town. We have a daughter who is just about the same age as you. If you meet our Serena, I hope you two will become good friends. Okay, I can dig that. Serena seems like a cool chick. <laughs> this must be her bedroom. Let's go get out of there. Alright. So let's do a little bit of exploration. So I've never actually... This is like kind of my first time using a Nintendo 3DS. So it may be a little bit of time to get like absolutely used to everything. Woo! 
who's this person? Science is amazing. If you use communication technology, you can look all over the world for players who are playing at the same time as you. Then you can play together. And that actually reminds me. So what I was thinking is maybe every episode I would possibly do something where I add a friend code or something. That way I can battle someone down the road. Okay, so... This is so incredibly different than what I'm used to, having this kind of like 3D landscape. It's amazing. Hey, David, this way over here. Okay. I'm coming. Oh, over here. Ah. All right. Let's see. No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, who's that fella? Who's this person? Do you love Pokemon? Yes. Me too. Aren't they great? Yeah, they are. So I'm using the like the little the D-pad thing, not the D-pad, but the uh oh. We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. Uh, the, the more like joystick type thing on the 3DS. This is the meeting place, David. Here, let me introduce you. Everyone, this is David. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on. So David, this is Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves, and this is Trevor. He never misses a single question on his test, but he's still a little shy. All right, nice to meet you. You know, I feel like we're a closer crew if we all call each other by nicknames. Can I call you the D-Meister? What? No way. He's a little D for sure. What? Little D? No. <laughs> what do you think, Trevor? How did they know I was short? What? You just want me to nickname someone I just met? Shauna, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Well, how about something low-key? Maybe something like Big D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you decide what we should call you? Oh my god. Let's go with, uh. Let's go with David Brown TV. I don't know if I want Big D popping up on the screen all the time. That sounds a little bit crazy. Alright, so let's go with David. And then let's get a little capitalization. Oh man, Big D, Little D. Pokemon. Oh, that. Wow, that actually fits perfectly. Uh, T, 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 T. There you are. David Brown TV and done didn't want to got to make sure I didn't have any spelling errors there that would be kind of embarrassing to screw up my nickname first episode so you want us to call you David Brown TV yes okay David Brown TV fits perfectly I'm sure we're gonna be great friends so I'll call you that too hey can we see the Pokemon now I want to meet my new partner soon I know right it was such a cool feeling when Trez and I got our met our Pokemon hope you feel the same way I did Oh, yes, we will. Absolutely. Oh, okay, so here comes the, the moment of truth. We got Chespin, the grass-type Pokemon, Finnekin, the fire-type Pokemon, and Froacky, the water-type Pokemon. So um, I've always been a big fan of Charmander and, and the fire-type Pokemon, so I'm going to go with the fire-type Pokemon, of course. David Brown received Fennekin. I don't know if this is the best Pokemon, but it's all good. Now, I'm not going <coughs> to names. Uh, just because it gets confusing, and I'd rather learn the actual names of the Pokemon as we're going through this. Wow, we go together great. The two of us are just way, hey, hey, too cute. Nice to meet you, Froki. I'm Serena. Because of you, I can be a real Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Uh, pardon me, but I have something for you from the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. Alright, so we got ourselves a Pokedex. Now I wonder how many Pokemon are actually in this game because when I looked online I couldn't really find anything, uh, any information that was really out there uh, telling me how many Pokemon are in there, how many new Pokemon, how many of the older Pokemon. So I'm pretty excited to see what to expect on this journey. Um, I checked out some of the like the Pokemon Let's Plays that were just out for the first like uh, like way before like like a couple days ago, and uh, I saw some Pidgeys and Caterpies and stuff. So I'm guessing there's quite a bit of the older generation. So I'm really excited about having the original 151 in this. <laughs> all right, because I know you can get obviously Charizard and uh, all the three starter type Pokemons. That way you can get the Mega Evolutions because they look absolutely amazing. They look so sick. Oh whoa oh, oh. whoa! Oh, that was like different uh different scene right there here this potion is for you feel free to use it thank you for the potion all right potions can heal pokemon whenever they want 
Hey, my Pokemon are going to train real hard. I play with my Pokemon and pet it. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you want to be more fashionable, you might want to go to Santaloon City. The boutique in Santaloon City has many items that are popular with young men. Are you saying I'm a young man? Well, thank you. Wait, what's this? You take a picture, it looks like. The photo spot is still under construction. All right. So I'm finding the actual D-pad is a lot easier to maneuver than the joystick type thing. Oh, so you're one of the kids chosen by the professor, are you? You should go home first and have somebody help prepare for your journey. All right. So good thing we were talking to some people. That way we know that we have to go home, say bye to mom. I'm guessing she's probably going to give us our roller skates. Um, uh, Nintendo made a really smart move. David, David Brown TV, wait! You're going to be my opponent in my Pokemon Battle debut. Okay, little Chespin, it's our first battle. Let's win it with style. Alright, so here we go with our first Pokemon battle. You were challenged by Pokemon trainer Sir... Oh, Shauna. Oh, the animations in this for the actual Pokemon battles are incredibly detailed. It's so cool. I love it. Alright, so here we go. We got Fennekin, and we're going to use Wawa. You get Ember right off the bat. Usually you don't learn that till a little couple of uh, levels afterwards, so that's pretty sweet. Oh no, don't hurt me. I really like having the touch screen uh, down here for like choosing your attacks and stuff. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. Oh man, I wish I had this when I was like in elementary school and high school and stuff. I probably wouldn't have been able to do anything. And we already grew to level 6. Nice. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Ooh, quite a bit of experience right there. Sorry, Shauna. Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Chesbin yet. Too bad. Now I take your money. $500. What up? You're amazing, David Brown TV. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon. Say hi to your mom for me. All right. <laughs> So that was that was pretty sick. That I, I really enjoyed the battle sequences in that. It flowed really nicely, and just looking at this right now, it's the animations are just amazing for a handheld. It's crazy how good this is, and how far we've come in the last like 10, 12, 15 years, however long it is. All right, I don't think this is my house. Who are these people? Oh, would you look at that? You've got on a pair of running shoes, my young friend. I can't see a pair without thinking of the old jingle they used to play in their commercials. To dash, 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 and a flash, flash, flash. Press the B button to dash in a flash. Yeah, just press that B button. All right. If the time comes, I hope I can entrust my son with a Pokemon. Going out on a Pokemon journey really helps you mature, you see. All right, so looks like if we hold B, we can run real fast. There we go. Running fast, running fast. I like to run real fast. Alright, so I believe this is our house right here. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, there's my mom. So, what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait, one second, David. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now, too. Congratulations. Huh? A letter from me? It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Oh, mom. She must be single. <laughs> oh, I see. David, you've barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Finnegan ready for your journey. <laughs> Alright. Oh, here she comes. Here you are, David. I even packed a change of clothes. My, what an unexpected turn of events. It's just like a sudden last burst of speed from a Rhyhorn. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this. David obtained the town map. So what I really enjoy about this is that everything is sped up. Um, it's, it's very... Everything is like pretty much triple speed on what the original was. In the original, you had to go in the grass, then it's like, Oh my god, I can't fight a Pokemon. Oh my god. The Rhyhorn right here. Rawr! Haha, <laughs> what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Alright. Um, but yeah, what I was talking about was in the originals, it took forever to get to this point where you had a town map, running shoes, uh, your first Pokemon. We're talking at least probably 30, 
40 minutes into the game. Um, so this is this just speed streamlines everything and it just makes it so much more easier to navigate. Um, that was probably one of the more harder, not harder parts, but like not so interesting parts of Pokemon the originals was that you couldn't walk really fast until you got your bike. And then once you got your bike, it was great, but it took forever to get to that point. All right, so what kind of Pokemon are we going to get here? All right, we got a Pidgey. Go Fennekin. All right, so we go. We might as well get some levels. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what the first gym type is, so we got to make sure that we're prepared here. We got to get some good levels. Um, so I'm just gonna start off, uh, kind of explaining probably my more um, strategy going forward with uh, Pokemon. So typically, what I do when I play these types of games is. I'll stick to knowing that I like this Pokemon, I think they're going to do really well, and I'll just go ahead and stick to a couple Pokemon every once in a while and not have like a bunch of Pokemon in my party at all times just because I like to train up a few Pokemon at a time and then grow them really well. That way I can learn which Pokemon I should actually learn to train and which ones I should maybe just avoid. A wild Bunnelpy, Serena sent out a Fletching. Okay, so this is probably the teaching how to actually uh, capture a Pokemon. It's going to go through the courses using a couple of tackle attacks, I'm sure. Oh, wow. That was a strong tackle because it's a level 2. Now, this Pokemon here has got some big floppy ears. It's some type of bunny Pokemon. I'm not exactly sure what type it is. But uh, I'm guessing it's probably not the best type of Pokemon. Typically, uh, the first ones you can find in the first like uh, first couple towns aren't the greatest, but there are maybe sometimes those really good ones that you can. I remember in the originals they had Nidoran and Nidorino and and uh, Nido King were really really strong Pokemon. <laughs> oh wow, the Pokemon went inside the Pokeball. Shauna, what do you think your chest bin is inside right now? Here, I'll share some Pokeballs with the two of you. All right, so now that we got some Pokeballs, we can go ahead catch sure some Pokemon do you think I can catch Pokemon with them too sure you can catch the Pokemon around here just by throwing a Pokeball near them all right so let's go ahead and begin the journey of catching some Pokemon um, probably a Pidgey because Pidgeotto really isn't that bad Pidgeot pretty good Pokemon and it's good to have a flying type Pokemon of course all right what is this a scatterbug appeared go Fennekin so I'm guessing uh, Ember attack will probably be enough to probably catch this guy since he's only a level 3. Oh wow. Just absolutely demolished. So this is a grass type Pokemon. Uh, oh, level 7. We're just moving up in the world right now. Alright, so let's just cruise through. Looks like that could be a trainer battle right there. He looked a little suspicious. Oh, a Weedle. Okay, so there's quite a bit of the original 151. I wonder if all original 151 are in this. That would be pretty sick. Uh, Weedle, I have no interest in raising a Beedrill in this game, so we're just going to go ahead, kill him. Uh, my plan is to destroy the Elite Four, absolutely demolish them. Once that is done, then we can probably start looking at completing the Pokedex. We can go back, it'll be a lot easier catching all the different types of Pokemon, and we'll know which ones we need, what regions they are, and it'll streamline the process a lot quicker, I find. Oh, I think this is a, this is that Zikuno or whatever, what's his name? Zigzagoon, okay, so he's from, I forget, maybe black and white, I'm not entirely sure. So it looks like, um, so far X and Y is drawing from Pokemon from all different types, maybe a few from the originals, red and blue. Then some gold and silver, diamond and pearl, they're lost. there's just so many Pokemon out there that I wonder how many there is now total after this game has come out. And maybe you can catch catch them all, that would be kind of crazy, it's like several hundred Pokemon there. Um, from what I have learned from this game is that there is around 30 hours of actual playtime involved, so I'm really looking forward to investing quite a bit of time into this game because, well, it's Pokemon, 
why would you not want to invest some time into this game? So, I think I kind of want to maybe catch a Pidgey. I want to stroll around here to see if there's anything else worth getting. Okay, so there's that Pidgey. Alright. Level 3. Alright, we'll, we'll use a scratch attack. I don't want to kill you, Pidgey. Ouch. Alright. Continue using a scratch attack. Probably two more, and then we'll go throw a Pokeball. Oh, nope, just one. That was a critical hit. Nice. Can't die here. Come on. All right, let's throw out a Pokeball. And we got ten. Oh, that's perfect. See, in the original, you did not get ten Pokeballs that quickly. I really enjoy how they're just, like, making everything much quicker. You get into the action really quick, and it's not just this delayed like game where it took like an hour and a half to really get anywhere so this is this is really great I'm liking this we're already level 8 this is crazy alright Peachy's data was added to the Pokedex perfect alright this Pokedex this looks great a common sight in forests and woods Pidgey give it a nickname nah no Pidge okay so let's continue the journey. Looks like we're going through maybe a little forest here. I'm a little reluctant to go through this forest. Um, oh, here we go. Wait up. Let's walk together. Okay. Oh, so she can heal your Pokemon when... Oh, no way. Is there like no... Uh... Oh, did they get rid of Pokemon centers and you like this girl just heals your Pokemon? That would be incredible. I mean, as much as I love Pokemon Centers, that is just continuing with the streamlined process of just uh, just getting through the game like, oh, okay, so it looks like we got, oh, we got all of our, a bunch of friends over here, so this like, people are battling here, I wonder if I can battle this person, man, oh, no, so we'll continue uh, going through the, the large grass, we gotta make sure we, make sure there are, ooh, a Fletchling, okay, so I think, I think this is one of the newer type Pokemons. It definitely does. So this is maybe like the, the what's it called, the Pidgey of the X and Y. So we may actually catch this guy because I'd I'd prefer using Pokemon that I've never got to use before. Um, I mean I've already used the original 151 so many times that it only makes sense to kind of use some Pokemon that I've never really used before and check them out, see how they do. Although we can't really not use like. Charmander and stuff, although maybe I shouldn't have used the fire uh, Finnegan and maybe gone for like the water type, but oh well. Alright, so one more tackle attack should get this guy down to a, a nice healthy level to catch him. Don't crit! Don't crit! Perfect. Alright. Oh no, not my attack! Alright, so let's go ahead, chuck a Pokeball. The animations, when you're even like throwing out a Pokeball and catching it, I really enjoy it. It looks really good on here. There we go. Gotcha! Fletching was caught! There we go. Oh, we got another fellow on the team. Another bird. These friendly Pokemon send signals to one another with beautiful chirps and tail feathered movements. And pass on that all right oh no another battle who will it be oh a Kakuna Kakuna was always like the Pokemon that you always wanted to find in the jungle or the the forest when you're looking to uh, train up your Pokemon because they only got Harden and then they always gave off way more experience points since they were the evolution of Weedle like 41 XP right there that's a good amount Alright, so let's continue out here. Oh, oh, hang on one second. Oh, looks like she wants to get in a battle or something. What's happened? Look what I found, David. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. Alright, so we got a paralyzed heal. Uh, for those who don't know, that obviously heals paralyzation uh, through moves like Thunder Wave and stuff like that. Another trainer battle. Come on, Scatterbug, let's powder this punk. Oh, yeah, right, buddy. Come on, I got fire-type Pokemon. You're going down, son. You're going down, Joey. 
Ho ho ho! He's gonna be no match for me! Alright, so this battle shouldn't be too hard since we have the type advantage. Um, I'm guessing he's probably got mostly grass type Pokemon. Uh, probably all grass type Pokemon. Maybe that is his only Pokemon for all we know. I mean, we're already level 9. This is incredible. Oh, Fletchling. Uh, so I'm going to keep battling. Alright. So as as you can see, we're getting, we're getting uh, our Fennekin at a decent level. That way he can be like our tank. And then afterwards, we'll start uh, raising up our other Pokemon, getting them to a decent level. But I do enjoy having a tank in uh, in my party. And Fennekin will definitely be the tank as he's the starter. I mean, you gotta, you gotta show props and love to your starters, you know what I mean? All right, oh man, the visuals in this, I love how the trees go ahead of you like that, it's so cool. I wonder what kind of dance works best for a, for a crew with Pokemon in it. I have no idea what kind of dance moves. All right, another Fletchling. Level four, not too bad. We'll kill it off with an Ember. More XP the better before we hit that first gym just because I don't know what type it is. Uh, for all I know they could be scumbags and it could be rock and then we'll be screwed because Ember is definitely not good against rock type Pokemon. Fingers crossed. Actually not fingers crossed, grass type. Uh, it would definitely be to our advantage for grass type to show up later on uh, with Fennekin being our, our tank. More grass type Pokemon? Who will it be? Ooh, a Panpour. So I was just watching, I think, Pokemon uh, uh, White and Black, and Panpour was in one of the episodes. I think I might catch this guy. He seemed pretty cool in the episode, so. <laughs> Here I go saying I'm not going to catch too many Pokemon, and now I'm going to add another <laughs> to the arsenal. Here we go. And uh, this guy, because he's blue, I believe, is a water-type Pokemon. So he'll fit perfectly on the team since we do not have any water-type Pokemon quite yet. Uh, so let's go ahead, toss a Pokeball at this guy. Oops. And there we go. Now he's in the yellow. Um, I'm hoping this catches him, but I feel like this bugger is a little bit harder to catch than the yellow guys we caught recently. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> gotcha! Pampor was caught. Alright, so now we got a water type Pokemon. So, um, as for like leveling up Pokemon, I like having how this guy's water and fire. So, we're gonna start uh, training up Pampor for now. I pro He's not probably gonna be like a top 6 type Pokemon, but he's good for the start having a water and a fire type. Do you have any Pokeballs? Here you go. Sweet. More the merrier. Oh, hello, miss. Your Pokemon are in for a shock. Sounds like she's got maybe some Thunder-type Pokemon. All right, Anna, let's go. Ooh, a Pikachu. Oh, okay, Pikachu. Let's begin. So this is definitely where we don't want to use Pampor. We'll continue using Fennekin. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this shouldn't be too hard of a battle. Yeah, that's what I figured. This is why you always have your tank. Tank always helps in this case. I mean, this Pikachu's already level 5. I wonder what level the the gym leader will be. I'm trying to remember what Brock... Because uh, he had Geodude and Onyx in the originals. I think Onyx was like a level 12, 13. But it, from the looks of it, I don't know if Pokemon are just leveling faster or... It's just easier to gain levels? I'm not exactly sure yet. Ooh, let's go ahead and just heal our Pokemon. There we go. And continue through the grass. Alright. Oh no, a wild Weedle! Hello? Level 2. No point in running um, when you can just use an Ember to get some experience. It probably takes around the same time. Like, there's obviously the animations and stuff, but at this time, even 11 experience isn't too bad. Oh, you have some more Pokemon. Alright, who's this? Who's this lass? Okay. 
Yes, they can happen with anyone and everywhere. Alright. So this is Lice. She's got some Weedle actions right now. This will be another easy, breezy, beautiful match. More bug-type Pokemon. Oh, especially level 2. Come on. Who do you think I am? I am the greatest Pokemon trainer. <laughs> oh, poor Weedle. No. So we're going to be hitting... Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Panpour now. Uh, there we go. Fennekin's level 10. He's already pretty beast mode. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some levels on Panpour. He's definitely probably not going to be good in this match type. This is probably going to be... Uh, oh, I'm not actually sure what type of Pokemon this is quite yet. Play Nice. Not sure what that is. So I'm just going to go with Scratch because I have a feeling that Play Nice is uh, more of a defensive type move. Oh, wow. This is going to be a long battle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use Play Nice just to see what it actually does. Ooh, a Leer Attack. No! The defense fell. Alright, Play Nice. Oh. Ooh, did it get attracted? Oh, attack fell. Okay. Go ahead and use Scratch. So that Leer didn't even really do too much. Well, it didn't really do anything, really, because the first tackle that um, they used did 4 HP, and this one did another 4. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this battle. Oh, oh, we got a critical hit. Really lucky there. So I do have 6 HP left, so I will survive one more attack. And there we go. Let's get some nice XP for Panpour. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to go to level 5 right there. 96 bucks for winning. I can't believe I forgot that potions can be used even during a battle. Oh. Good advice. Um, I am absolutely in love with having a like a Pokemon Center, like just walking around with you. It's ah oh, so sick. And we got another Pokeball. Perfect. Uh, having being able to just like heal at any time just streamlines the process so much. I absolutely love it. That is probably my favorite feature of having a traveling companion right now or just one of my favorite features in actual Pokemon uh, X and Y so far to be honest alright Panpour unfortunately my Ember attack won't be super effective or very effective at all but you're still gonna die oh no don't attract me don't fall for it he's ugly look at his hair alright not very effective. I'm okay. Ooh, a burn attack. Okay. Ooh, Leer. I'm afraid not. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and swap out to our Panpour. That way he can get some more levels. Um, this Panpour is pretty much out for the count. Burned. Alright, in the red. He's dead, pretty much. <laughs> if anything, my Panpour might help him. This guy's burned. Except I don't have any water-based attacks quite yet. Oh, there we go. Didn't even have to use an attack, and he fainted. There we go, level 5. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Nice. Wow, there's a lot of, lot of wild Pokemon in this grass. Ooh, Scatterbug! So, Scatterbug, I'm guessing, is probably similar to um, uh, the original Weedle and Caterpie. And those type of Pokemon just aren't really top 6 type material, so we're not going to go ahead and try and catch them. We'll get them later down the road uh, when we're trying to maybe fill up the Pokedex. That is something I've been pondering. Do I try to attempt to fill up the Pokedex? Could be something interesting to attempt. And could make for a fun game. I don't think... Yeah, I think I filled up the Poke Pokedex in uh, red and blue, but in none of the other ones. So we got a huge team here. We're all here. Let's go to Santa Loon City. Alright, let's begin the journey. Alright, everyone. So, 
Um, I think we're going to end the episode right here. I had an incredible time playing this game so far. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this. It is absolutely an incredible game. And uh, I, oof, there is lots and lots more to be played. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, it really does help out if you can leave a rating on this video. I have went through crazy, crazy amounts of stuff to record this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Make sure to leave a comment. Leave me your friend code in the description as well. And uh, maybe each week I will be adding someone for a special battle episode. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.